Welcome back. Now in this video today we're going to take what we already have which is a, a list of the categories from our table and we're going to turn them into links that will send the, um, the ID of the link that you click on, of the category that you click on, through to another page and then that page will in turn use that ID number to then display the correct stock items on its, on its uh, content. So just to begin with, I'll just go back into the code here and just add a few things. So right now you can see in our loop, we have a do while loop here and each time it loops through it is displaying the name of the category. What we need to do is turn that into a link and we're going to do that with HTML. And because HTML and PHP don't mix particularly well, uh, I'm actually just going to temporarily stop the PHP and I'll restart it again there. And in that space there that I've created, I can put some HTML in. And what I want to do is put in an A tag. And this is going to go to a new page, which I'm going to call category.php. Now, this doesn't exist yet, but it will very soon. Um, and in terms of formatting, I'm just going to bring the PHP and the echo up here. And I'm actually going to get rid of that line, that vertical line. I just don't like the look of it anymore. Uh, so now you can see this is going to open a new link that goes to that page. It's going to display the category name as the text that will be the link. And then I need to be careful to close the link down. And then once the HTML is finished, you can see we restart the PHP and continue with the loop. Now what that will do, if I just save that, when I test this, you can see on the formatting, that's all inbuilt in my style sheet that I provided. So um, if you want to know how to do that and create the spacings, just have a look in the style sheet. Uh, but you notice now that this, these have turned into links. Now the problem is they all go to the same page and right down the bottom there as I move over them um, you may be able to see, hopefully you can see, they're all going to category.php um, in fact if I click that page doesn't exist but you can see category.php dresses goes to the same place. There's nothing for this page to know uh, which category you've clicked on to get there. So in our code we're going to need to do something. Now I'm going to use a method called the get method. Now this is uh, an inbuilt method in PHP. It creates an, there's an array called get and you can put as much information in there as you want. And what it does is it sends information through to another page in the URL. And the way we do it is like this. You can see the .php there in, in our link. If I put a question mark and the information I'm sending I'm going to call category ID and put an equal sign and then you can put anything you want there. If I put a 1 every link would send a category ID of 1 through which is not what we want. What we want is to pick up the category ID of the category that's been displayed during this particular iteration of the loop. Now because this name is also being displayed in this particular iteration of the loop if we do a very similar thing to this right here so we're going to echo out the category ID instead um, it will actually match the category name. So, RS category ID. There we go. Alright, so what this means is every time we loop through here, this is going to create a link that is going to have this little bit attached to the end of it. Question mark category ID equals. And the number that gets added there is going to change each time we loop through. So, the, for example, if I go back to my database, the first time we loop through, there's going to be a 1 there. That'll be a 1, where it's category ID will be a 1. And then where it says name there, it will display the word skirts. The second time we loop through, the category ID will be a 2, the name will be dresses, and so on. So if we now go back and test this, when I click on skirts, you can see it goes to this un yet to be created page but it does take through the category ID of 1 to that page. Click on dresses, it sends through category ID equals 2, and so on. Okay. So what we've effectively created now are dynamic links. The links themselves are being pulled down from a database, and all these pages are going to the same page. Sorry, all these links are going to the same page. They're just sending a different number through with them. And next time, in the next tutorial, what we'll do is we will create that next page that will grab that ID number out of the URL 
and it will use it to go to our database, access the stock table, and it will return every stock item that matches the category ID you selected. Okay, I'll see you then.